knockout power of Gennady Golovkin has always set him apart from other champions. Of the 41 victories scored, 36 of his career Golovkin ended with a brutal finish. If some knockouts happened in the late rounds, then there are those that happened in less than a minute. And today I have collected for you the 10 fastest knockouts in Gennady Golovkin's career. In 10th place is the duel between Gennady Golovkin and Dominic Wade. Not knowing defeat, at that time, a boxer from America was a mandatory contender for the search for a Kazakhstani through the IBF line. And he went quite successfully up his career ladder. But exactly until the moment of the meeting with Triple G, who sent him to the floor already in the first three minutes. Realizing that the opponent does not pose any danger to himself, Gennady openly began to mock him in the second round, after which he sent Wade to the floor twice, adding one to him in the defeat column. The ninth place is taken by a knockout of Gennady Golovkin in a duel with the Brazilian Anderson Corvalho, which took place in 2009. This was the first fight for a Kazakhstani who had a vacant WBO belt at stake. And, as you may have guessed, the fight did not last all the scheduled minutes, but ended at the 40th second of the second round, after Gina's hard blow to the body with a transfer to the jaw. Going out to box on short notice is a risky business, and even more so if you are up against a puncher of the caliber of Gennady Golovkin. But Vane's Martyrosian, an American boxer of Armenian origin, turned out to be just such a daredevil, who agreed to fight with the Kazakhs just 17 days before the fight. And of course, such a bold, desperate step did not end in anything good for him and the knockout was not long in coming. In less than half of the second round, the champion delivered a spectacular multi-move combination, from which Martyrosian fell face down on the canvas and simply refused to get up on the count of 10. It's no secret that left-handed boxers are always harder to box. After all, 
They are damn uncomfortable due to their right-handed stance, which is a mirror image of the opponent in the ring. However, the main weapon against such guys is called a strong blow from the right hand. This is how Gennady Golovkin ended his fight against Russian Mikhail Makarov in 2009. Already after 30 seconds after the second round Golovkin with a clear blow to the right of Mikhail's rules on the floor. This was followed by another blow from the right hand and another knockdown. And for the third time the referee stopped the fight. In sixth place was a knockout in a fight against a Mexican fighter, Marco Antonio Rubio on October 18, 2014. Mexican fighters have always been famous for their character and ability not to refuse a good fight. However, against Triple G, such a desire can end badly. What we actually saw in this confrontation, when the Kazakhstani managed to first catch the opponent with a hard uppercut. And then knock out with an overhand left hand. The five fastest knockouts of Gennady Golovkin are opened by his fight with the Argentinian Albert Mamani, whom Gennady brutally finished in the first round of the fight. Twenty-one wins, eighteen of which were by knockout. It was with this record that Golovkin entered the fight with the American Lagun Simon in the winter of 2011. И еще раз, и еще раз. По звуку слышно, что удар тяжелый. The fight ended with a hard left hook that literally knocked Simon off his feet, a favorite technique of the Kazakhstani. Well, we are getting closer and closer to the final. And in third place is a knockout that happened at 120 seconds of the first round in a duel with a South African fighter named Chipo Mashigo.
Golovkin struck the opponent with a beautiful blow from the right hand, from which the African was cut down tightly. A knockout in the debut match of Gennady Golovkin takes us an honorable second place. The fight took place on May 6, 2006, and was opposed by a boxer named Gabor Balog, who only lasted 80 seconds. Further, Gennady's right side kick plunged the opponent into a deep sleep and, as a result, Triple G made a successful debut in the ring. Well, the first place in the list of the fastest knockouts is the destruction of a Colombian boxer named Milton Nunez on August 14, 2010. It took Golovkin just 16 seconds to shock his opponent. And at 45 seconds, send him to the floor, after which he could no longer get up. Gennady Golovkin, despite all the obstacles that have been in his way lately, continues to delight us with his bright fights and we hope to see him in the ring very soon, as we have already missed him.